Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and uh, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use your welder to fix some tools. I have two broken tools I'm fixing. Um, one of them is part of a chainsaw, the other one is a pry bar. So, both of these tools uh, my father brought over and asked me to weld. He doesn't know how to weld, and uh, I do. And uh, we'll just show you why it's nice to have a welder when you're in a bit of a pinch here. So check it out. Um, this is a bolt from a chainsaw that my dad had. It's actually an Eager Beaver electric chainsaw. And uh, this is the main bolt that holds on the bar. So it runs through the saw, comes out the other side, and then that nut tightens up, and it tightens up right on the bar of the chainsaw. If you look really closely at this, well, number one, the first thing you can see is that the nut it's kind of chewed up and stripped, but the bolt itself, I don't know, focus, it, the threads, right where that thing needs to tighten up, the threads are stripped. So he can't use this saw, um, and he said that he can't, that, that the parts aren't available for it, it's like a specialty bolt. So what I'm actually going to try and do is uh, try and weld on here, and then grind it down and re-tap these threads for them. Right now it's set up for a 10 metric, but uh, since my tap is uh, standard or English, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess I'm just going to tap it at like uh, 5 sixteenths. So that's what we're going to show you how to do, and uh, we'll see if it works. First step is just cleaning it up, getting all the oils out of there so it'll take a little weld. And I'm just putting it on the wire brush. And then we're just going to put a few little tack welds on it. So as you can see, I've welded this and uh, I ground it. And uh, I'm just using a, a vice grip and I'm spinning it on the wheel on my grinder. So now we're going to try and uh, take a die and put some threads on this thing. So the die I'm using, I'm just going to use a quarter 20 because that's a very standard thread. And like I said, I don't have metric. So I've got it chucked up here in the vise. And we're going to oil it up and run this down. So I'm going to start out with a little oil. Just like that. Take our die, and we only have to go down about a half inch on this thing. And for this project, I used my uh, wire feed welder, which is actually a new tool for me. I'm used to arc welding, and I've been trying to do a little bit more with this wire feed welder because I'm just getting used to it. I get nice penetration with my arc welder but on doing thin projects and stuff you know I like using that wire feed welder but there's a learning curve with it and I'm still trying to get used to it so I've been using my arc welder when I really need to get something done I need it to be done right and I'm kind of practicing with the wire feed welder. So hopefully I, uh, these threads will take and I'm just kind of taking my time going half a turn and turning back and uh, you know we'll see if it works because there's not much you can do when you can't get the right part for something. And I think we're about done So there's a look at the threads. Um, they look pretty good. I mean, it was a lot better than it was. It was like completely stripped. So hopefully it works out. So I got a lock nut, different than the uh, 10 millimeter nut, and uh, seems to be going on there nice. So that's the bottom already. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll work out for him. 
So here's a look at it all done, and you can see, you know, it's it's probably not perfect, but I think it'll serve its purpose. It's for an electric chainsaw, so it's not like a commercial saw. It's going to be used all the time, and uh, you know, that's just a cheap way to fix something if you need threads on it or you have a bolt that's stripped like a specialty bolt I guess I should say and there aren't parts available so that's fairly easy to do it took me about I don't know less than 15 minutes and you know I couldn't order a part and have it here in 15 minutes so it's gonna work for me so thanks for watching my video today I'm double wide six you can check out my channel I have a whole bunch of repair and small engine and pool and all kinds of videos up there so thanks for watching and please subscribe here I got a little crowbar and I have it up in the vise it has a crack here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna repair this make a weld and uh, this thing's about three sixteenths of an inch thick and uh, we're just going to try and uh, grind it, clean it up, weld it and then uh, you know hopefully the crack won't be there so I'll just show you the process. So by grinding away some material here it's going to set it up so that we can fill it in with a weld. So here's a look, you can see the crack real well there, I ground out a fair amount of material, made a ditch, I also made a ditch on the edge because I'm going to fill that in, and then we did the same, I took away some material on the back, so you can kind of see how the, the, the curve almost looks like a, a fingernail, it's kind of rounded, so uh, we're going to fill all this in with weld and then we'll grind it, and that should take care of it. And here it is all welded up together seems to be good I'm gonna put a little paint on it and it looks like it's fixed up so that's about 15 bucks there for double wide so thanks for watching please subscribe